for just a moment. His Excellency Count Ilya Fyodorovich Bikhmetyev and his brother Count Andrei Fyodorovich Bikhmetyev. His Excellency Court Assessor Shishkin. Shishkin. Uh, Your Imperial Highness. His Excellency von Grivnitz. <laughs> very rude to stare. Forgive me. <laughs> Difficult to say. Madame de Lysianska. Come closer. No, you please. I think I know you. Were you not a lady in waiting to my mother? Many people know that, I'm afraid. I'm trying to remember more. When I was a child, I used to watch the faces of the ladies in waiting to see if they were wearing lip rouge. My mother did not allow makeup, so I... Well, I was not mean, just, just mischievous. I used to report to her. What was it my mother used to call you? Shura. Mm. Zina. I'm sorry. It escaped my... Nini. Yes, Nini. Your Highness. Your Imperial Highness. <laughs> What's the matter? Don't you like my borscht? No. Too bad. The General says you have to eat it. She won't eat. All right, go. This entire household, everything has been turned upside down just for you. To make you comfortable, to help you get well. I don't like Porsche. I don't care whether you like it or not. Eat it. I specifically warned you not to say one word to that committee. You could have ruined everything. I told you about Nini, didn't I? Maybe. I don't know. Yes, I did, or Petrovin did, or you overheard us. But the important thing... Are you angry because you're beginning to wonder who I am? Or because you want me to do nothing except what you tell me? I know who you are not. Just as I know that unless you do as I tell you, I'll have an extra cigarette girl at my club. We now have a breathing spell we need badly. You still have a great deal to learn if you're to achieve what we have agreed. Do you understand? Yes, I understand, Excellency. Then finish your dinner and get to bed. Work begins again in the morning. And now, royal etiquette. All right. One. One, two, three, four. A queen. Your Majesty. A prince of royal blood. Your Highness. A prince of ordinary station outside of the royal family. Prince, I suppose, or Your Excellency. Cabinet ministers are... Absurd! Even Anna Koryev would know all of it. Pick up the book. But why do I need it? Pick up the book. Put it on your head and walk over there. You don't seem to realize that the gesture, the grace, the carriage of a true daughter of a Tsar... Cannot be taught. Either she learns as a child how to hold herself, or it's too late, Excellency. Did she like to play as a child? No. But your mother wanted you to. I still don't like it. My hands don't have the strength anymore. All right, we can use that as an explanation. But listen to this. Now, this is important. Your tutor wanted you to learn this to prove to your mother that the lessons were not in vain. Did I ever learn it? Yes, but you hated it. it now. It's quite pretty. Here we go. I can't. You will head up, back straight. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. 
please. Please concentrate. And one, two, three, one, two, My three. My feet hurt. I can't anymore. A little rest, perhaps. There is no time. The waltz, Dr. Lange. Come on. I'm sure you won't mind doing this. This is the waltz you like so much. The back, the back. With ease, style. Didn't you say the other day it reminded you of something? Yes, of my first ball. And your first love, no doubt. Yes. Who was he? I can't remember. Was he fair or was he dark with a moustache? I don't know. One day he's fair, the next he's dark. I don't know. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. very hard and you're overtired. But we're almost finished now. Are you? Well, then you know who I am. A good night's sleep. You must know, you must. Just go to bed. No, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. Stop I'm... it. Go to bed at once. My father was very strict. I did not like to obey, but he was ringmaster in a circus. General Bonin? Yes? Who am I? I don't know. Your Excellencies, Countess Urania von Lorna and Prince Tagantse. My dear madame, Her Highness and the General will be here shortly. May I thank you again for all of us for what you're doing? Oh, I should not be thanked. It makes me happy to do anything that will help restore what is right yes. for me. Yes. Oh, Excellency. Your Excellency, General Kavalevsky. I cannot and tell Madame you how Kavalevsky. important your presence is here today. My dear Irina, I promised your late father I'd keep an eye on you. On occasion, it's a little trying. I promise you will not regret coming. That's a promise you may have some difficulty in keeping. May oh. I sit down? Please. It's abominable gout. This way. Albert, a chair for His Excellency. Take care of His Excellency. You know how he is. Baron and Baroness Robert. The old fox himself. I never thought he would come. Well, we may wish he hadn't. Huh? How many are you taking? <coughs> People will think you're hungry. Hungry? <laughs> I'm not hungry. I'm nervous, sir. I'm not hungry. His Excellency Count Razuma. Xenia! Yes, sir. <laughs> I must say, a truly wonderful occasion. Yes. What? Red caviar. You mean... Yes. If the caviar were real? She would be real. Wait a minute, please. Remain here, Your Excellency. And Remain here. We will see that they come to you. I understand. So many of your old faces. Oh, yes. And it is their dear old names we want. Uh, we want their names and signed statements that will convince the Bank of England. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Imperial Highness, the Grand Duchess Anastasia. This way, Your Highness. 
Close for the alcove. Stepan. My dear general, this is all so exciting. Your imperial highness, please. Well, Petrovanch, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, oh, I would like too to say a few much. words. She's but, doing too but much. It's very difficult for me to speak today. General Bunin, would you please? As you all know, I am the last one to believe in miracles or resurrections. But reality cannot be established without help, legal help, witnessed and signed statements. It is frankly our hope, our need, that those among you who believe will come forward after the reception and sign these testimonials voluntarily. Now, I'm quite sure that some of you have come here to obstruct. The reasons, political, monetary, we all know. There are some who have been made understandably cynical by the revolution. And there are some who will testify to anyone and anything and have. To none of you do we bring any pressure. To all of you we bring someone who has literally suffered worse than death for 10 lost years. It is our duty to restore this extraordinary person to the world of the living. If you're sentimental, say it is because she has suffered enough. If you're humane, say justice must be done. If you're Russian, a loyal subject of his late majesty, then say with me, our only hope is his daughter, her imperial highness, Anastasia Nikolaevna. Her Excellency, Countess Baranova. Your highness, when Irina, uh, when Madame de Lysianska told me, I confess I really had doubts. You can understand. It really is a miracle. Is it? Yes, your highness. We met only once. I the... remember near the tennis courts at Livadia. Yes. I also remember that my uncle Alex got you the title because he liked dancing. But from then on, you made a fool of him. My mother never liked you. My father never liked you, and I never liked you. Please go. Now, just a moment. You're not Anastasia yet. And if I have anything I said, to please go. You are mad. Don't answer. But I warn you for the last time. Your Excellency, you're not leaving without seeing Her Highness. I have seen her. Oh, but she will be so disappointed at not having seen you again. And how do you know that? Huh? You mean how do I... Well... Uh... Truthfully, Excellency, we don't. But we are sure she oh, will. Well, sure, Excellency. And I, dear Ivan Vasilyevich, you stay this long, and after all, you did promise now, me that you... Don't wheedle, Irina. Oh, all right. But don't try to keep me there too long. My foot hurts. Excellency. I think you are due for a surprise. His Excellency... I'm so glad to see you, Ivan Vasilyevich. They told you my name. How kind. Won't you sit down? No, thank you. I don't expect to stay. My father's Chamberlain was a man of great courtesy. His Majesty complimented me on many things. I don't recall his mentioning courtesy. My father's Chamberlain was also a temperate man who did not judge before... Madam, forgive me. I have a miserable attack of gout, undoubtedly a punishment for being intemperate. And I'm eager to return to my tub of hot water. There are many characteristics which you could recall, many details, but so could dozens of others. My relations with His Majesty's children were impersonal, public. So in the end, my judgment can only be a matter of opinion, and that opinion can only be determined by resemblance and manner. Your Excellency, ten years is a long time. No, I've already noted the resemblance. As to the manner, I've been watching, and you've given me pleasure. You've taken me back to my seat, in the Imperial Theatre of St. Petersburg, second row on the aisle every Tuesday night. For the purpose of acting is not only to imitate reality, but to create illusion. I'm not being sarcastic when I say that you are an excellent actress, madame. Extremely well trained. My compliments. I do not accept them. Madam, my foot is troubling me. My life is troubling me, and it has yet to be lived. You do not believe because you do not wish to believe. You say my words will not convince because you're afraid I know the right words. You misquote, madame. I also said that the manner, the deportment of a grand duchess would convince me. But I don't see it in you. Not a gesture. The one would be worth more than all the words you undoubtedly can produce. Good day, madame. How dare you smoke in my presence without my permission? <clears throat> Who are you? Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Out of a possible fifty-one. And 
You were so sure it would be almost a clean sweep. Didn't the old fox himself say her performance was great art? We're not doing this for art, we're doing it for money. Now listen, this can go on forever. Some saying she is, some saying she isn't. Precisely. My mind is made up. Oh? To what? There's only one way. To go straight to the top. You mean the old icon? Yes. The Dowager Empress. Oh, sure. The old ramrod sits in her castle in Copenhagen, biting her nails because she's waiting for Sarah Bernard here to give her performance. She's the one chance. As head of the family, no one would dare dispute her word. Dispute her word. Excellency, Her Highness would like to see you. Her what? Isn't she? She can wait. Not too long. She's packing up. Packing up?